Hello, it's Christmas time, and you know what that means. It's time for a Christmas movie tier list. Now I can guarantee you we do not have the same taste in Christmas movies. I'm going to I'm going to be willing to bet that I'm going to roast some of your favorites, and I'm fine with that. You might not be, but I am. So let's get started. The first one's always hard. So let's pick one that I know is absolutely S tier. Now let's be honest, spoiler alert guys, every Christmas movie sucks. They're all terrible. But in terms of Christmas movies, we have to judge them on a sliding scale. How are they for Christmas movies? Now they aren't gonna win any awards for anything. And they're not getting any visual effects awards. They're not getting any story, uh, you know, best story awards best actor awards no one's winning no one's you know what i'm saying it's just not going to happen so we're not going to judge it based on that we're going to judge them based on how much i enjoy them and if you got a problem with that let me know in the comments what's an s tier movie all right home alone can i be honest it is not s tier home alone is going to be a tier we're going to make it A tier. Why is it A tier? Because I've seen it so many goddamn times. It could be S tier. It is actually a banger ass movie. It's pretty good. Fucking Kevin. Now, we're going to do the, all the Home Alones. Home Alone 2 lost in New York. It's going B. It's going B because actually, let's put it back to A. The first two were great. Which one's better? I don't know. But there's some problems with the Home Alone 2. Um, the fact that he was able to get to all these places in one afternoon um, is a little, it's its contested. It is debatable. It's controversy, controversial. Um, but I, I, I tend to look past it. I love New York City. Kevin, he seemed to like it as well. So many beautiful spots uh, that are shown there. And we were just there a couple years ago for, for Christmas. And it is literally the most magical place on Earth. They say that's Disneyland. I say wrong. Disneyland is the worst place on Earth because children exist. Now, New York City, on the other hand, marijuana is legal in public places. Everyone smells like marijuana. If you want to go to New York City, let me give you a tip. I know this is not what we were supposed to be doing, but let me give you a tip. If you want to go to New York City during the Christmas time, stay the fuck out of Times Square. That place is dangerous. I want you to go to Bryant Park. I want you to go to Union Square. I want to. I want you to check out these holiday markets, man, because they are straight out of a Hallmark movie, and it is beautiful. I want you to go down to the Oculus uh, downtown. I want you to go down to... Um, what was the name of that place? Holy shit. Bryant Park has one of the coolest holiday markets, man. Um, very, very cool. Very expensive. Um, check out the Macy's stuff. Check out the Macy's stuff. But guess what? Bergdorf Goodman has better windows than Macy's. And no one, no one's talking about it. Bergdorf has better holiday windows than Macy's. I'm going to say it now. Artistically speaking, Bergdorf's is better. Macy's is lame. It's the Taylor Swift of, uh, of, um, it's a Taylor Swift of holiday windows. It's for everyone. You know what I mean? It's for everyone. Bergdorf's has a little bit of an edge to it. There's a little bit of an artistic flair. So check out Bergdorf's. Go down to Hudson Yards. Oh, you want to be whisked away to a magic Christmas land. Go to Hudson Yards, man. There ain't nothing but billions and billions and billions of dollars down there because it's beautiful. Uh, you got to check out that mall too. Very sick. Very, very cool. Uh, enough. Home Alone 3. What do we think about it? I'm going to give it D tier. F tier is, is for something really special. Okay. Home Alone 3. It was just basically Home Alone 2 with a dumber kid. And that kid annoyed the piss out of me. I could not stand anything about him. Charlie Brown Christmas? You better go fuck yourself. 
because that's and fuck yourself starts with f and that's where the fuck it's going no just kidding it's d tier i don't like it i don't like charlie brown anything great pumpkin great go fuck yourself charlie brown is a little bitch in my in my in my in my book and i can't stand to watch someone so melancholy because that's what i would describe charlie brown melancholy he doesn't want to do shit for himself i don't i don't care bro charlie you gotta fucking go the coolest the coolest thing about you is your dog and that that's sad to me your dog out cools you at every move let's get it let's give it c tier because i understand like that it is such a holiday staple and it is so iconic um i'll give it c tier but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put it b tier because it doesn't deserve b tier it'll never deserve b tier noel noel if you've seen it it is a um noel is santa's daughter uh her brother let me hold on let me get the synopsis real quick because it has been a minute since i've seen it santa's daughter must take over the family business when her father retires um and her brother right who is supposed to inherit santa claus he gets cold feet so she takes it over and she she has some trouble but she kills it noelle straight kills it i'm gonna put that c tier as well which makes me think that i want to put charlie brown back to d tier but we'll wait on that drake and josh christmas never fucking heard of it get out of my face drake and josh christmas now we like josh wait drake no we like josh he's fucking great love that dude love that actor he's incredible i love him uh the night before oh my god this is just this is up my alley i'm putting the a tier i love it it is very up my alley it's three homies uh it's very like sorority uh fraternity frat boy sorority it's very frat boy uh frat boy movie bunch of friends party for the last day of christmas but some of the stuff that ensues is absolutely great the drugs the partying the places they go great it's 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 a solid a tier i put it solid a tier eight crazy nights i have not seen that tbh uh i probably should see that this year because i heard it was really really well it's done well adam sandler does a great job voice acting so we'll, we'll um i'll i'll visit it i'll visit it this year and then we'll, then we'll, we'll uh we'll we'll update it next year how's that sound christmas story it's a tier it's a tier we've all seen it christmas story you'll shoot your eye and then he fucking does and then it's like you know fine forget the kid's name but sure it's just a it's just it's it's a you know at that time when this movie came out it was a different style of christmas movie and i appreciate the shit out of that and watching it as a kid i could have never seen it enough times i loved it i loved it i loved it i loved it also the macy's there um i don't know if that was supposed to be where that was supposed to take place indiana or something like that but yeah that macy's was banging and i expected to see that when we went to new york to macy's and inside macy's in new york city is exactly what the fuck you'd think it well it's not what you would think it is it looks like every other macy's on the planet dingy the floors are dirty smells weird uh and i figure like if they're gonna take care of something they should take care of that one and since they don't i don't shop at macy's anymore it's just i don't know a christmas carol c tier that one especially is creepy to me uh i didn't watch him be a christmas um i'm white so i don't think the appeal uh I don't think it was made for me um i do watch a lot of i have watched a lot of medea stuff i do laugh but this is when i was like a little bit older so like i just it's the same shit over and over and over if i'm being completely honest with you i said the white thing but like that's part of it too but like that i just it's it's i can't relate how about that what's funny in the medea uh stuff is very funny but like 
you've seen it a million times. You know what I mean? So you can't like go back and relate. I'm gonna get myself in trouble. Arthur Christmas. Yeah, well, Arthur Christmas, we'll put it C tier. Cause it's just all right, which makes me wanna put Charlie Brown's going to D tier. Sorry about it. But actually not bad Santa, B tier. Uh, bad Santa is Santa Claus, um, robbery and stuff like that. Heck yeah, I do be loving that kind of stuff. It's a Christmas story. It's a nice heartfelt story at the end, but in the beginning, it's a heisty heist, and I love heist movies. So we have these Josh, Drake, and Josh. Can we put these to the end? Let's put these to the end. Boom, boom, boom. Eight crazy nights. Haven't seen these. Uh, this one, Daffy Duck, or whatever. Um, oh, wait a minute. I ha I have seen this one. I have seen this one as a kid. Sorry, that wasn't supposed to go to D tier. I'll put it at C tier because it's pretty good. I feel like Noel should be bumped up a little bit. Christmas Carol and Arthur Christmas kind of belong on this list. We just watched Daddy's Home. It was like. Everyone kept saying like, oh, it's a great movie. It's a great movie. And I was just kind of like, yeah, it was fine. It's fine. Barbie Christmas. We don't know what that is. So that's going down here. Beauty and the Beast Christmas. Didn't see it. Babes in Toyland as a child. As a little kid back in my day. I really liked this movie when I was a kid, but I watched it again and it was like, I don't know. So let's put it at D tier. It gets a motherfucking D tier. Medea and Casper go to the bottom. Medea, Casper, Die Hard. Sorry, it's not a Christmas movie. It takes place at Christmas, but if we want to go and say that this is a Christmas movie, we can say that a lot of fucking movies that are not on this list our Christmas movies and it pisses me off you all seen reindeer games how is that not on the list that is literally about a come on man D die hard as a movie can't like I can't I can't um I can't really judge it based on Christmas stuff because I don't think it's a Christmas movie go fight yourself um I don't I don't I don't consider it a Christmas movie. Sorry about your feelings on that. So we're going to, I'm going to, and like Die Hard as a regular movie is okay. Like it's okay. So in terms of movies like Die Hard, Die Hard would be like a six out of 10, right? But as a Christmas movie, because it has so much crazy shit going on, it would get like a seven out of 10, an eight out of 10, nine out of 10, because it's like a better movie. But Christmas, like we said before, Christmas movies had to be judged on a sliding scale. This Die Hard throws it all off. So I'm going to say Die Hard as a Christmas movie gets fuck you tier. Okay. That's a fuck you. I don't agree with your opinion that this is a die. Like it's always dudes that have really small wieners that are like, oh man, my, my favorite, my favorite movie is fucking Die Hard. And I'm like, you, sir, have the smallest of wieners um deck the halls uh this is a c tier this goes along with c tier like it's okay i would watch it again you know what i mean deck the halls is always kind of like a something that i always watch um it's on and i'm not paying attention to so i could say that for all the c tier i could say noel deck the halls excuse me christmas carol they can all be on in the background and i'm not going to pay attention to them B tier are going to be movies that I'll half pay attention to. I'll pick up my phone and I'll be scrolling through my phone, but I'll put it down every once in a while. A tier movies are like, yeah, I'm paying attention, but I've seen it a million fucking times. It's not my favorite movie. I'm not going to watch it every year, but it's definitely going to be in the lineup. But I might have to change my. Uh, and I'm, I'm I have to change it. I really do. I, we got to put Home Alone one up in S tier. We got to put night before up in S tier. I know I'm sorry, but I thinking about it like that, like if C movies are like, if the C lists are movies that I will like have on in the background while I'm like cleaning up and listening to like Christmas music, smoking a little ganja weed, you know what I mean? If I'm smoking a little weed 
and I'm mopping the floors and I'm getting things clean and I want it to smell like Christmas and feel like Christmas and sound like Christmas. This is what I'm having on in the background, all these C tiers. B tiers, I'm going to be half paying attention to. A tiers, I'm like a quarter paying attention to. I'll have mom not going to watch them every year. S tier, every year, boys. These are every year, boys. I got to watch them every year. S tier is meant for that. It's okay. It's got to be every year. D tier is like I watch it once. I don't care if I ever watch it again. Uh, probably never going to watch it again. Okay. Eloise. Listen, I watched Eloise a long time ago. I'm going to put a D tier, but I'll revisit it. That's one of the ones that I do want to revisit. Um, I know it's a cute little story and, and I usually like, uh, movies like that. And I love New York city and that's where it's based off. You know, she's based off of elf. We put an A tier. I love it. I know everybody hates it. You know what? I'll put elf S tier. I'll put elf A tier. Yeah. Elf, elf stays A tier. Ernest saves Christmas. We D tier in that one. I don't have to watch that one again. Um, what's this? I forget what this one's called. Oh, four Christmases. This one's pretty good. Oh, that's a tough one. We're going to put it at B tier. Guys, if you're watching this on the replay, I am working my way up to 100 subs. My goal is to get 100 subs by January 1st. You could be a saint, Saint Nicholas. The only thing I ask for for Christmas is 100 subs. All I think I want from you is for you to sub if you like this type of content. If you like me, if you like my face, if you like my background, if you like my stupid sweater, go ahead and click subscribe. These are all things you're going to see again and again and again. Uh, but like, even if you don't like me, if you think I'm stupid, or you think I like look dumb, I would still subscribe because I welcome hate comments. I do. I'm sorry. I do. I do. I welcome because like what we did with that other guy that like hated on me and, and bullied me. I made him an employee. I made him an employee. He talked so much shit to me. And I said, listen, you sound broke. You sound like you need a job. You sound like you need other things to do than talk shit to, to people that are just trying to make their dreams come true on YouTube. And he said, you know what? You're right. So I made him, I, I hired him. Um, Fred Claus. Fred Claus is a good one, but I don't know. Friday after next is not Christmas. Oh, actually, I guess it kind of would be. Friday after next. Let me think. Fred Claus first. See, I, I, I would, I withhold the right to change this at any time. So you, you shut the fuck up. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas S tier. All day. that's my vibe. Okay, I love Halloween. This is Halloween. Very good. Very good. I love animation. I love anything that's silly and different. Definitely uh, one of those things. So let's take a look at what we have so far. Home Alone, Night Before, and Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, I see a theme. It's all white people. And that scares me. Well, because of my one comment that I made earlier. And that's fucked up. Anyways, Friday after next, I guess we have to make up for it somehow. Um, I do love the Friday movies, Friday after next. This will be the third one. Um, let me double check to see if I've seen this one. I need to see who's in it. Friday after next, Friday after next, Friday after Friday after next, 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 Friday after next. Boy, you like my singing voice. Do you like my singing voice? Friday at the next, gonna get some Rolls Royce. Put it on some toast. I don't know why the fuck I said Rolls Royce. Just reminds me of butter. Every time someone says a Rolls Royce, I'm like, oh, butter. Hmm, butter. Hmm. Love it. Butter. Mike Epps, obviously. John Witherspoon, obviously. Don Curry. Obviously. Cat Williams. Let me see. Can I watch a little clippity do? 
can I watch a little clippity do? Clippity do. Let me see. Mm hmm. <laughs> this is one of those old things. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house. Cube is way too old. Oh, I don't think I've seen this. Oh, Damon. It's always the same shit, though, right? Okay, so I haven't seen it. Damn, that's crazy. Okay, so we got to add that to the list of, like, I got to see. Die Hard 2, shut the fuck up, D tier, or F tier. No, get the fuck out of my face. Um, Frosty the Snow. Hold on. Let me try to do some beat. Frosty the Snow. Eh? What a holly jolly fucker. Frosty and his cap. Magic in his hat. Smoking pipe. Nobody knows. What's in that shit? He got red nose. Okay. Um, Rossi's a B tier. Because it's just kind of like... I liked it when I was a kid and it was a staple. I know so many people love so many things about it. Frosty's like, okay, but the animation blows. Or, or is this the one that I'm thinking about that blows? I think this is the one that I think about that blows. D tier. Fucking D tier. Ghost of girlfriends past didn't see it. Probably not gonna watch that bullshit. Mm. Gremlins. Yo, can I tell you something? I think I might still have my gizmo from back in the days, from the 80s. I, actually, I know I do. I know I do. That thing, dude. Gremlins, B tier. Hell yeah. Uh, what is this? Happiest season? Didn't see it, but I see some faces. Oh, this is, we were supposed to, so we were supposed to watch this. Didn't see it. Uh, Jim Carrey's The Grinch. Where's the... Okay, that one's on there too. So I w I'm going to say this. This one is A tier. I really enjoyed it. Okay, I love the animation style. This one also A tier. All the Grinches get A tier. There hasn't been a shit one. You know what I mean? They're all great. It's not... I'm not going to watch them every year. Actually, actually, which one would I watch every year? Ooh, that's a tough one. Ooh, that's a tough one. You better choose one. You better fucking choose one. Let's see. I, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick. Fuck. Holy fuck. What the fuck? I. I okay. I'm gonna pick this one. This one's A tier. Okay. I'm gonna pick that one. <gasps> Shit. But if I do that, hmm. How the Grinch stole Christmas. Oh my God. How the Grinch stole Christmas. The Grinch and the Grinch. Merry Christmas. What's this one? Grinch stole Christmas. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What am I going to do? It's hard for me not to sing to this also. I'm sorry. You probably can't even hear it. Can't even hear it. You can't hear it. All right, let's see this. I, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna do this one A tier, okay? Because I like it. It's very, very. I like the, the live action, but it was still like very whimsical and like cartoonish. Okay. Oh, Wonderful Life. Listen, I used to hate this movie. I used to hate this movie. It's a Wonderful Life. I used to hate it. I used to hate it so much. My dad loved it so much. And then I got older. And then I understood that you can't go back and change things. And all things that you do in life are part of your trajectory. That everything has an impact on your life. Every decision that you've made. And if you go back and change it. If you were to go back 
you would find out how grateful you are for those decisions you've made. If you made those a different decision, things could go other ways. So where does this one go? Is it A tier? Is it S tier? How about B tier? Or maybe A tier again? A tier, maybe B tier. How about S tier? Where the fuck does it go A tier? Maybe S tier. How about B tier? Let's put A tier. Shit, I, I don't know, man. I like the I like it. Let's I'm gonna put it S tier. God, that's a fucking my 17 year old self would want to kill me right now because of this. Okay. Jane, Jack Frost, uh, it's a C tier movie. It's sad. And I didn't. You know what? I need to revisit it, okay? But it's going on an S tier. Krampus, fucking A tier, man. A, A, actually, Krampus is an S tier for me, but like, I don't watch it every year, but it's definitely. I love it. I'm going to put it A tier, okay? Because I really want you kids to get your asses whooped sometimes. Eaten. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some of you kids deserve to get your asses beat by Krampus. Some some of you deserve to have Krampus visit you and eat you. Actually, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. The fucking terrible parents raise you like little, little, little shits. And I can't handle it. Jingle all the way. B tier. Now, little story about that. My little cousin Jonathan. It was his favorite movie. Not as a Christmas movie. His favorite movie. Favorite movie of all time. It was his favorite movie of all time. He's a little kid and we want to watch Jingle all the way. All year round. So hold a special place in my heart that little kid he's not a little kid anymore he's a full-ass adult and i remember being an adult when he was a child <clears throat> so um and i always thought it was so cool that he loved it so i'm gonna let me put it there i'm gonna put a b tier last holiday we just watched this queen latifah b tier it's a pretty good story i loved ll in it ll's uh ll style in that movie was so fire like I know he was meant to be just a working class guy, but the way he wore his clothes was just like chef's kiss. You know what I mean? The way he pulled off like a like a like a uh, New York dude. Loved it. Cause he cause he is. Love actually. Actually, let's talk about let's talk about um last holiday real quick. Queen Latifah, uh like the acting in this fucking god awful. Queen Latifah's great though. Queen Latifah did a good job. Did you know Gerard Jep or uh yeah Gerard Jeppardu was in that movie? I did not know that uh, until I watched it. And I was like, wow, that guy took a hard fall. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty good movie. I put it in the same category as these for sure. Actually, Jingle All the Way would actually get bumped up a little bit. Gremlins should go down one. Frosty should go down one. Four Christmases, but we I like it. It's where we're at. Uh, she's, uh, um, Queen Latifah was, uh, her character was, um, diagnosed with a, a, a disorder and she was going to die, but so she decided to go live her best life and all that kind of stuff. And in the end, she was just like, you know what? Here's the thing. Never be afraid. Maybe next time we'll just do it. And we won't be just, we won't be so afraid. I think was the line she said. And I can get behind that, man, because a lot of what I do now it's because I've been afraid to do it all my life. And I got a late start on things. And I and I appreciate this movie for that in itself. So it's it's gonna go B tier. Love actually. Okay, again, guys. I I have a fond memory, fond memories of Love Actually. Is it actually <laughs> a great movie? I'm not quite sold on it. But I like it. It isn't it isn't S tier, but I've seen it multiple times in the theaters with uh, different girls, I believe. But I, I actually liked it. It had nothing to do with like a date or anything. Um, I don't remember who I was dating at the time, but I did go see it with my sister and her friend. Um, 
and that was it was a really weird experience for me to be there with my sister and her friend um and on drugs so i mean not on drugs drugs so i was probably smoking weed i don't think i did drug drugs back then but like um so let's put it it's not a tier it's b tier it's a solid b tier it should go to c tier but um i can't tell which ones these are mickey's because it's so small once upon a christmas and twice upon a christmas i believe i see mickey's once m-i-c-k-e-y once up on a christmas mickey's once upon a christmas it's christmas 1999 oh i definitely didn't see this one. Dun, 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 let me see mickey's once upon a christmas mickey once upon a christmas i can tell you right now twice upon a christmas i did not see because that's like some cg shit i'm no didn't see that one um the I, one that i thought that was i thought it was um uh, a mickey mouse christmas carol which i don't really see that on here or was that the donald duck one that i saw on here that i where'd that go i don't really see it I don't see it. I don't fucking see. It. Okay, I don't see it. There's a couple movies on here that I do not see on here that we should probably add. Oh, a Brady Christmas. Oh my God. What did I see here? Actually, I'm gonna put it at B tier. I have a really good. Uh, once again, I have a very good. Um. I, it's just a good thing preacher's wife this is again b b tier man this is a great movie preacher's wife is a great movie in terms of movies it's pretty good uh rise of the guardians did not see it we're getting we're getting places here holiday affair i didn't see this one didn't see this one didn't see this one white christmas i did see this one i'm dreaming of... let me get try to get to the beep mm. Mm. i'm dreaming of a white christmas i'm dreaming of a white fucking christmas i was very like 80s white boy rap it's fine i mean it's white christmas so it fits it fits B tier. B tier. Oh. I'm dreaming. I don't know. It's pretty good. That it, It's a B tier movie, man. I'm not going to watch. Like, actually, I'm putting it A tier. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm saying this. White Christmas is A tier. Now, just to let you know, they do have a black Christmas, but it isn't black people. It's like murder. So don't you think because I said white. You know what I mean? That I feel a certain way. I don't. I don't. Hmm. Miracle on 34th Street. But that's with this girl. That's with this girl. I don't like her. I hate her fucking voice. Oh my God. She got the worst voice. Sad. It's not even, dude, that's better than what her voice sounds like. I don't like her. I didn't like her. Now this one, banger. A tier. Actually, you know what? This one's S tier. Love it. I could watch that every year. Wife hates it. Not me though. Love it. Not the colorized version. It needs to be black and white. Mm. So what do we got? Home Alone. Night Before. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, the Grinch Soul Christmas. It's a Wonderful Life. Miracle on 34th Street. These are all definitely S tier for me. There's not even a question. Home Alone 2 A tier. That's. Ooh, shit. Yeah, Home Alone 2 is A tier. Christmas Story also A tier. Elf also. Yep. 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 I'm agreeing here. B tier. Yep. Yep. Nope. Frosty goes down to C. Um, Gremlins. I have to revisit, but I remember it being pretty good. I'll probably watch it again. Jingle All the Way. Definitely a B tier. 
Let's put this all the way at the end, just in case. Uh, last holiday, yes. Love actually, yes. Brady Christmas, yes. Actually, Brady Christmas is going to A tier. I'm fully paying attention to that one. I should put my. I might even watch that tonight. <laughs> Very Brady Christmas is so sick. I I don't care. I don't care. Now, I'm 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 concerned with my choices here. Uh, never mind. Just shut up, Greg. Shut your mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. Okay, Mr. Magoo's Christmas. Okay, let me tell you something about this. Every year when I was a kid, it would be on after something. So when we were opening up presents, this was on in the background. So I have very high like feelings for this one. This one like makes me feel nostalgic. So I'm going to put it C tier. It really should be D tier, but I'm going to put it C tier. This Mickey Once Upon a Christmas, I didn't see. Muppets Christmas Carol, that also gets C. We are running out of space. 8-Bit Christmas was a B tier movie. Actually, I'll put a... 8-Bit eight Christmas is a B. That's That that works. Mixed Nuts, didn't see it. Um, B... 8-Bit Christmas, the reason why it... it it's just the the references to like the 80s like well when i was a kid and then they go back it's just kind of like you know it's all like it's if you were to make a christmas movie and you wanted to put all the like the 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 current slang in there you know i can't help but notice we're still at 81 subs oh but it doesn't show up Dang, what the f not do? Dang, what the f not do? My head. My head. My head. Boy, it's head. Um, is this it? No. Wait a minute. Why is it hidden? Oh, wow. That's messed up, bro. Okay. That little jingle jangle you heard is the, uh, to, for you to subscribe. Um, Scrooged. We're going to put... I like Scrooge. My wife, not so much. I don't really want to watch it ever. I mean, like, it's a C tier. If Noelle's C tier, Scrooge is C tier. Deck the halls. Yeah, it belongs there. Christmas vacation. You guys are going to hate me, but I put it right in the fucking C category. It is. N I, I know so many people love it. I don't get it. It's not my kind of humor. I feel like every time you turn around, something's happening to the guy. Please have a story. Don't just have something happening to the guy. You know what I mean? Like, why is it always got to just be that? It can't just be the guy having something happen to him. All of the other reindeer. Go all of yourself. No. Christmas office party, office party Christmas or whatever. Office Christmas party or whatever. We put in that A tier. Again. <laughs> it fits me. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer B tier. Rudolph the Red Nose B tier. Rudolph and the I and the Island of Misfit Toys. I'm not sure if I saw that one. Santa Buddies. You gotta be kidding me. How is the No, this is not no. No. Hell no. Can't even be on here. Snow Globe. What the hell is this? That's a free form one. How old is that? That looks like 2000s. I haven't seen it though. SpongeBob Christmas didn't see it. Santa Claus is coming to town. Yeah. C. It's like see yourself out. Christmas Chronicles 2. I think that one sucked. D tier. Christmas Chronicles. First one, not we're gonna put in a C tier, we're putting a B tier. That was pretty good. Action, it was different. It had a little a, like a story to it but the second one nah nah nope nope 
Nope. Oh my God. Am I racist? I'm not racist, right? Like, I don't think I've seen the perfect holiday. Gabrielle Union, though, did have a big crush on her. Charlie Murphy. Oh, I think I have seen this, actually. I'm pretty sure I have seen this. Let's see. The perfect holiday. Mm, mm, mm. I, this does not ring a bell. <laughs> it looks pretty funny though. I'm gonna... I'm going to actually, we're going to save this. Uh, so when I save this, I want all the ones that I want to watch at the end. SpongeBob, go fuck yourself. No. Uh, Nick's Nuts. I don't know if I want to see that. Rise of the Guardians. I don't know how that's a Christmas movie. <laughs> Uh, what there was something else right that i added to the list i was like oh i need to see this oh hey crazy nights white reindeer i don't know what that is oh the wrath oh friday after next yes all these ones at the bottom i need to make sure i watch the wrath i feel like i've seen this but like Um, let's go through here really quick. I did not see this Dolly Parton one. Dolly Parton's. Okay, I didn't see it. Didn't see it. Santa Inc. Didn't see it. Solar Ops. Didn't see it. Holiday. Didn't see it. Uh, Bad Mom's Christmas. Didn't see it. Holiday Affair. Saw it. Yep, we're good. These pat. These two ones i didn't see okay buttons i don't know what that is the man who we tried to watch this i couldn't even i couldn't even watch it so unaccompanied minors that was pretty good but it isn't b tier i'll tell you that much it was annoying it was very annoying um oh my god this one's so bad so bad Okay, now we're getting to the good shit. Let's just go on a Tim Allen three, okay? No, we're going to save that. Um, Holiday Affair. Let me see Robert Mitchum. How what was the Holiday Affair? Hmm, we're going to have to go back to that. Littlest Light, didn't see it. Tokyo Godfather, still have not seen it. And I know that's crazy because I'm like an anime dude. Uh, Trading Places, we'll put that at C tier because it's pretty good. It's just not something I'm going to watch all the time. Um, I did not see this one. Um, Santa Claus 3, D tier. Santa Claus 2 C tier. This does Santa Claus B tier. Because I said I'll partly pay attention to these, right? I'll partly pay attention. I don't know. Rudolph is probably pretty good. Santa Claus is probably pretty good. No. Christmas Chronicles 8 bit. Yeah, these are all B tier. Taking a long time to get here, you know what I'm saying? Like. We're almost done though. Holiday Inn was a great one. C tier. Um, Jingle Jangle. I, I actually really like this movie. 
it was very different inventive uh i liked the casting i liked the um you know the story i liked it i actually really liked it it's not a tier but you know holiday affair i'm not sure rudolph and i don't i didn't see this uh we're almost to the end here guys because i haven't seen the any of these remember the night didn't see it meet me in st louis c tier again everybody loves it i'm like meh it's fine klaus c tier uh klaus is b tier because it's pretty good it's different it's a different uh telling of santa claus i thought that was um pretty good a pretty like great way to do it differently christmas with the cranks b tier it's one of my favorites i like it silly um i know i know it's basically christmas vacation i know it's basically christmas vacation but it's not okay christmas vacation is i don't i'm not a national lampoon guy um this one i haven't seen this one i haven't seen this one i haven't seen year without a santa claus c oh no eat papa eat that's c that's b tier for sure not very many a's not very many f's but we're going to change that real quick okay twas the night before christmas c tier pretty good now i don't know this one twas the night i know i've seen it on um i haven't seen the winnie the pooh one or anything like that either i haven't seen this so we're down here at holiday fair i haven't seen that but here's the one where you guys are gonna all fucking attack me online uh, guys i'm not joking polar express is straight up f tier the animation is creepy as shit the characters suck so bad they suck every character sucks the voice acting is horrendous the only person that does a good job is the only actor in the whole play in the whole thing like uh what's his name tom franks or whatever tom hanks that's the only that's the only uh the only part that like i feel like it's like a decent part but it's only decent it's not like great so let's take a look at our list dude can i go on about how terrible polar express is yes should i make a video essay about how shitty polar express is yes do i know everyone loves it yes do i hate it yes why do i hate it because it's garbage and you fucking know it I can't, if you like Polar Express, Looney Bin, you know, if you like Polar Express, you need to be examined. There has to be a correlation. If people that like Polar Express and psychotic and being psychotic, I, I bet you that there's a high cor correlation. I'm not going to say that all people that like Polar Express are, you know, because there's people that have like nostalgic, uh, like nostalgia towards it. But I'm going to say this right now. If you like Polar Express, you a cray cray. You a cray person. You a, you a, you are a not right person. You cannot look at these animations and think that they're creepy. With all the millions of teeth. It's like AI. It's like the, when AI was bad like a few months ago. When, at the beginning of this year when AI was bad. This is what AI, a movie AI would make. And you guys are like, it's great. I love it. I, it's terrible. I finally said it and it feels really good to say let's take a look at this list home alone banger the night before banger um nightmare before christmas banger grinch banger wonderful life banger yes yes i agree home alone 2 we can move it up here now that we're looking at this things elf is still it's a high a it's a high a uh christmas story is a high a this Grinch is a lower A, but it's still an A. This Grinch is a very high A. It belongs after Elf. Tramp is perfect place, perfect place for White Christmas. We'll put back here. Off this Christmas party, we're gonna put right around here. Yeah, that seems good. And then this, and then Krampus. Then there. yeah, they're perfect. So from left to right, these are gonna be my favorites um let's see here miracle on 34th street is one of my absolute all-time favorites love it love this one love the black and white version then probably this then probably this 
uh home alone 2 yep that's good that's a good order bad sand let's see b tiers this one's gonna be hard um jingle all the way can go at the beginning bad santa love actually 8-bit uh santa claus there four christmases will go towards the end klaus gets a high high honors i like that more than santa claus um last holiday it goes a couple down preacher's wife man listen preacher's wife the preacher's wife if you watch the old version and you watch the the new one or the newer one they're both really fucking good I, i'm telling you they're real it's like a great movie gremlins i feel like i gave that too high but it needs to be revisited i'm gonna put it back down to c tier um last holiday 8 bit 8 bit goes before yeah it's before love actually for sure chronicles of narnia Chron christmas chronicles jingle jangle was so good guys how the fuck did you not see jingle jangle if you haven't seen jingle jangle you need to jingle jangle these nuts in your mouth go watch it it's really good the way I said that though was probably really fucking inappropriate because Jingle Jangle is very much a children's movie. Christmas with the Cranks. Love that one also. 8 bit. Before Love, actually, for sure. Um, Year Without the Santa Claus. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I agree with that. Now, C tier. Let's get this in the right order. Noel. That's a great one. Deck the Halls. Great one. Christmas Carol. You can go all the way back to the fucking end. Gremlins going to the end because I'm not real sure about it. Scrooge, man, Fred Claus is up there. Arthur Christmas can suck a dick. Um, Holiday Inn, I did like that one. I do get them confused though. Holiday Inn and I think this is the one where the two guys go for the one girl. I'm pretty sure, uh, but I get it confused with White Christmas because they're very similar. Trading places. Let's see. Okay, sorry. Um, we're going to put this one back here just for now. Jack Frost. I just didn't like it that much. Um, Daddy's Home 2. It was just a meh. Unaccompanied Miners. Year Without a Santa Claus. Christmas Vacation is going all the way at the end. It's a low, it's a low C tier movie. Low C. Which puts some things into perspective, actually. Um, Meet Me in St. Louis is definitely up there. Before before Frosty, I would think, yeah. Before Daddy's Home, yeah. Unaccompanied minor trading places. Trading places is higher than that. Oh, it's definitely 400. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck this is. I mean, I know what it is, but like, I don't know why it's even in C tier. For nostalgia purposes, I guess. Uh, Muppet Christmas Carol. Yep. Good spot. Unaccompanied minors can go back here. Santa Claus 2, Arthur Christmas. Yep. 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 Good. Home Alone 3. All the way at the end. Actually, let's give that a fucking F tier. Charlie Brown Christmas. For sure it's D. Babes in Toyland. For sure D. Eloise. You know what? I don't have enough experience. I'm going to have to pull this back down to I haven't seen it. I'm pretty sure I've seen Holiday Affair, but I can't think of what it is. Mm. Remember the night. Okay, I watched a little bit of that the other day. Why him? These are all that I ones that I want to see. Um... Bad Mom's Christmas. No, I don't want to see that. Um, oh, I, I've seen that. Bad Mom's Christmas. I've definitely seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. That's a C tier. That's pretty funny. You know what? I'll put Bad Mom's Christmas as B tier because it's pretty silly. It's like pretty ridiculous. Nah, it belongs in C tier. But before, yeah, before all this shit. Uh, before, 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 
Oof. Okay. All right. We did the C tier, right? D tier, Charlie Brown. Solid D. Gets a D minus, honestly. I cannot stand any of the Charlie Brown shits. A Miracle on 34th Street. It's a high D just because the story is the same. But I hate the girl. Uh, Christmas Chronicles 2, man. Should be F tier. Santa Claus 3. Like, what the fuck happened to that franchise? I'm uh, Frosty's Winter Wonderland. That animation, and some, they paid... It's like if I wouldn't if I went to Fiverr and I was like, hey guys, um, I got an idea for a Christmas thing. It's gonna be award winning. Can you make this for seven bucks? And they're like, yeah, yeah, I can do that. That's what the fuck they would come up with. Ernest saves Christmas D tier. I just because he doesn't really save it. He fucks everything up and he accidentally saves it. So it shouldn't be called Ernest saves Christmas. Ernest fucks everything up, but accidentally saves Christmas is more of an actual. It's like Jar Jar Binks. Ernest is Jar Jar Binks in real life. And I, I know they're both not real, but Ernest is a real guy and he did a, had a career and, and like Jar Jar Binks, I feel like it's mimicked off of Ernest. Yep, that's good. Miracle on 34th Street, the newer version, Charlie Brown, Babes in Toyland. Um, I just, it's, I liked it back in the day, not so much anymore. And the F tier, F tier guys. Home Alone 3 was straight up F tier. And again, Die Hard 1 and 2, in terms of Christmas movies, gets F tier because it they're not Christmas movies. A Christmas movie to me is holiday cheer, you know, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. You know what I'm saying? That's what the fuck a Christmas movie is to me. These are shooting movies that happen to happen to be at Christmas time. And as regular movies, like I said, they're like a six. And they're a six out of ten. But as a Christmas movie, no, it doesn't count. These aren't movies about Santa Claus and magic and family togetherness and you know what I mean? Giving the gifts of 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 togetherness and stuff like that and your presence. None of that shit. This is people dying and stuff. And that's fine too. That's fine too. But if Santa Claus is doing the killing, then that's what the fuck I want. But this is Die Hard, and Die Hard 2 has nothing to do with Christmas. Go fuck yourself. Also, we're going to reiterate, if you think if you think Die Hard and Die Hard 2 are Christmas movies, you are a man with the smallest dick I've ever seen in my life. You got a small wiener. And you drive a big truck. That's what... I love me some Die Hard. Little small wiener. And I'm going to video... I'm going to... Anybody that says they love Die Hard... I almost said, I almost said, I almost said, and he bought, I'm not going to say it because then I'm going to get a bunch of fucking inboxes. Like my inbox is going to be full of, of wieners and I don't want it. So listen to me right now. I don't want you to prove to me that you have a small wiener. I'm just going to know that you have a small wiener. If you'd like Die Hard and Die Hard 2, you are a fragile man and you're holding on to the last grips, grips of your masculinity because you can't watch a movie about love and kissing and holding hands and singing kumbaya and exchanging gifts. You want to watch people shoot people because you got a small wiener. But these diehard movies outside of uh, outside of Christmas, they're fine. You got a regular size wiener. It's like you're not have a big wiener. There's no way you have a big wiener and you like these. You have a small wiener. Uh, you have a medium size out if you're like, you know, like me. Okay? Like me. You're just not, you're not like walking around like, oh, die hard. You know what I mean? And you're also not like, you know what I'm saying? It's just. All of the other reindeer. Why is this movie even made? I don't think anybody likes this. I don't even know why it's on the list. The man who invented Christmas couldn't even watch the first 10 minutes of it. The ultimate Christmas. I feel like I know what this is and I feel like I was absolutely bored to death watching it. Um, Polar Express, don't, you're, you're, you're a psycho. If you if you believe it's, uh, I'm not even gonna say if you like it. If it's above an F tier for you, you're you need to get evaluated, and the FBI needs to have you on a, on a list. Okay, because you're 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 no no. It's so hard to watch. It's like so hard to watch. It's so it hurts me so bad. Like hurts me physically to watch it.
Um, movies that should be on this list that are not on this list are Reindeer Games. You need to go see that. Ben Affleck. Get that one. Uh, Reindeer Games. That's a good one. That is a Christmas movie that does not have to do with togetherness and stuff like that. If it, It's a heist movie. Um, but it's called Reindeer Games. Why the fuck isn't it on this list? I don't know. I have a feeling a woman made this list. Um... The other movie that I ju we just watched. Hold on. I'm going to pull it up. It was called. Eddie Murphy. And that one lady. And that other lady. And then the guy in the thing. Um, What was it called? Eddie Murphy. Christmas movie. Oh, uh, Candy Cane Lane. Um, actually, very good. It was um, I liked it. It was different. It's a a, a really good spin on a, like a magical Christmas movie. It's for kids, but it has very. Uh, I would say PG thirteen. It's very good. Candy Cane Lane. This is what the fuck it looks like. This is what the fuck it be looking like. Okay. 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 Nope. It is on Prime. Free with Prime. Go check it out. It's actually a really good movie. Pretty good. Reindeer games, that movie. Um, and I feel like there's some others missing, but if I, if I, uh, we're going to keep this window open and I'm going to add some stuff to it. Um, so mm, after Christmas, maybe we'll revisit it again. Maybe at Christmas time, maybe the day before Christmas, maybe sometime before Christmas, I'll revisit this list and maybe I'll make some things because I knew there's a bunch of these movies that I want to see. And we're always looking for movies. Um, Christmas movies to watch because in December we watched nothing but Christmas movies. All the Hallmark movies, gotta do it. 